In this video, which is the fourth part, we're going to talk about uh, the taxonomy. So we're going to learn how to do the custom query on taxonomies. Um, just to make you understand what taxonomies are, taxonomies are basically categories. Uh, sorry, classification. Okay, to cla when we classify something. So, for example, let me show that to you. Right, so I'm sure you know what categories and tags are basically. So, you know, uh, I may have different posts. Like, you know, I have, for example, these many posts over here. Now, some posts might be related to game series, some posts might be related to games, some posts might be, related, might be related to movies, music. So, you know, by categorizing them, uh, you know, we can have all the posts which are related to movies in one go. You can have all the posts related to music or games in one go. So, that's the benefit of having categories, basically. Uh, tags are uh, also really helpful when it comes to, you know, uh, classifying the post uh, but the main difference between the categories and tags are that categories can have parents so there could be hierarchy on categories but tags are more gener generic so you don't have parent for tags okay so I have some of the posts as you can see over here and you know I have gone ahead and uh, you know assigned them categories for example this post has category of, of both game series and games We've got tags of PS4 and RE games, and similarly, there are other posts as well, which we have, which we have uh, different categories and different tags, etc. Okay, so we're going to display the post onto our front end on our uh, site, WordPress site, uh, basis their categories and tags, and that's what we're going to learn today. Okay, so what I've done over here, I'm on my index.php page of my uh, WordPress theme 2016 and uh, all I have here is get header get footer and then I have div with container and then I have this h4 title um, which is WP custom query which is we have right here and then again similarly like the other lessons I've uh, explained to you about we have the argument in which we are passing different values and properties and then we are uh, using this query object to instantiate WP query class and we are passing this argument into it then we are running this uh, while loop while query half post query the post and we are ending it here with WP reset query and what we have different in this video uh, is that we have this div which will display first the title of the post which are like this these ones one two three and so on so we have ten of them ten of them okay and then it has the uh, categories and then we are calling the function the category to display all the categories uh, that particular post has so the, the title of the post and the category of the post and then we also have another div which displays all the tags that particular post have and I've just done some a little bit of CSS so that it's more readable and we can have one post with all of these information in one go okay cool all right so it's pretty simple actually uh, there are different set of properties uh, that are available that we can pass in the argument and we can have our desired result uh, of their of the taxonomy and of these uh, posts actually so I'm just going to show that to you how that work one second yeah here it is so you have for categories you have cats category name category underscore underscore and in non in and similarly you have for tag as well except we have two more items here which is tag slug and and tag slug in so we're gonna talk about them one by one the first one we're gonna talk about is with the cat ID uh, so all we have to do is into our arguments we go ahead and say cats and then we say cat obviously we need the cat ID so we need to know what ID that is so we go over here we go to categories and if you hover over it okay look at the bottom of the screen you know right here look at the bottom of the screen when you hover over it you can see that it says tag ID is equal to 17 
you know, right over here. Tag ID is equal to 17. So we got the ID for game series. So all we're going to do is just put 17 over here, save it, and then refresh our page. And now we've got all the posts, title, with the categories and tags, uh, which have the category as game series, which is ID 17. Okay. Next one uh, is actually by category name. So let's try that. Category underscore name. And we can do game CD game. Let's just check exactly what that is. Game CD. Let's just copy it and paste it here. And that should give us the same result as well. Yep, there you go. We've got the same results. And the next thing we can do is we can do category underscore underscore and. Uh, but before that, we do that, uh, just want to share with you, it is advisable not to use the category names because someone can change the category name for that category ID and that would create a problem. So it's better to use ID. You know, if someone goes over here and, and changes the name, like, you know, quick edit and changes the name and put something else over here, then the ID remains the same, and but we're not going to get the result because we are trying to do the query with the uh, category name. So it's better to do it with the ID. Okay. Great. So coming back on the next one, it's a category underscore underscore and. So what does this do? So this will display all the posts that have both categories uh, with category one and category two. So basically we pass an array over here. So if we go over here, category underscore underscore and and we need to pass and it takes an array and you can pass as many IDs as you want okay so let's say let's go to our posts so we want all the posts the title categories and tags which are having both uh, game series as well as uh, movies okay so let's go ahead and do that so for that we need the ID of these two game CDs and movies so this is this was 17 and this is 3 so we'll put 17 comma 3 okay and let's just save that and refresh the page and as you can see that we've got the post title categories and tags for th for the post which has both game CD and movies category it has to be both and that's why it's and okay um, and then similarly you have in so if it is in then it's either if I just change this to in then it's either this category ID or this category ID okay so let's just search that now as you can see we've got all the post titles and the categories and tags which have got either game CDs or movies yeah great now the next thing is um, so we've got in now next thing is not in which means get me the post titles categories and tags uh, who's who do not have the category IDs which are two and six so we're gonna go ahead and change this to not in and if we refresh the page you can see that we have got all the post uh, titles which do not have those category IDs yep great so we move on to the tags now which are pretty much similar to this okay so you're not gonna go over all of them but 
we'll go over some of them okay so first is with the tag name so as you can see you go to tags these are the tags and if you go to posts let's um, let's do ps3 okay tag name ps3 so what we do is we go ahead and write tag over here and remember we are doing it by tag name we're doing the query with tag name and the name of the tag is ps3 which is in capital and then if you refresh the page we can see that we've got all the post titles which have got which are tagged under ps3 yep great next one <coughs> tag id so let's skip that because you understand how we can do that tag id tag and is basically you know both uh, we need the post details which are tagged under uh, both tag IDs 2 and 6 like we did for the category and similarly for in should be either for the tag ID with 2 or tag ID with 6 remember we can get the tag IDs by hovering over it you hover over it if you see down you will get the tag ID yeah cool and then the next one is um, <coughs> so you got and in not in means that you know all the posts which are not tagged under the tags with tag IDs 2 and 6 okay and then these are the two one that we're going to talk about because these were not there in categories and this is tag slug n and tag slug in so as the ad denotes I need to have all the posts um, titles which are tagged with the tag slug this and this okay so you know where tag slug is if you go to tags and if you just do a quick edit you can see this is a slug the slug could be different in case you know uh, it could be different from the name because in case if you write action games uh, then automatically the slug could come like this you know action games yep So let's do one of them. Let's do an example of one of them. So I want it with the slug name action. Yeah, action. So this is the uh, tag name. We don't want tag name. We need remember we need slug name. Okay, so let's do that. So it is tag slug and. okay so I need to have an array array okay I need to in fact I need two slugs so I'll have to look at the different one now um, so PS4 and RE games or PS3 and Thriller this is more easier so let's see what their slugs are. PS3 and Thriller. PS3 is PS3 in small letters. And Thriller is Thriller in small letters. Okay, great. So we're going to define that PS3. This is a slug name for PS3 tag. And the other one was Thriller for the Thriller tag. And let's refresh <coughs> as you can see that we've got the post title categories and tags which were tagged uh, under the slug name of ps3 and thriller okay cool now one last but not the least it's tag slug in so it's either uh, the slug name this or this okay so that was both and uh, this and this but this time it's either okay so let's just change this to in. So I want all the posts, all the posts, in fact, 10 posts uh, maximum, which, have, uh, which are tagged uh, with the slugs, with the slug name, either PS3 or Thriller. Okay, so let's just change that. Let's just refresh the page. And we've got it. So you can either PS3 or Thriller. Yep, great. Perfect. 
So I think that wraps up this session. Uh, so I, I hope you liked the video and you can watch the next tutorial to learn more. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.